hi how's it going how are you it's the fifth day we only have two days left in this place house sitting and pet sitting so i want to make the most of it do you know what i mean we are again getting a late start i think it's like 2 30 almost three o'clock right now so i figured um before i really get ready for the day um or like shower i'm going to read a little bit of now you're one of us i said yesterday in the ending of that vlog that i was gonna read this last night i didn't i'm gonna start from the beginning even though i've already read i think the first chapter i'm just gonna lay down in this bed and chill the fuck out and read um and yeah i'm thinking maybe i'll read for like an hour and then i want to put in some of the tape ins that have like fallen out of my hair or become like unglued so I'm also gonna do that. I was also thinking about just taking them all out and then putting them back in, but that's a lot of work. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, I ordered Tim Hortons again, as you saw. <laughs> I don't know, I woke up and I was like, I want coffee and breakfast to be delivered to me. So that's what happened. By the way, if you're from the States and you don't know what Tim Hortons is, it's basically like Starbucks, but they serve donuts and it's not as expensive. I'll see you soon. been about 20 minutes i've read about 25 pages these people are so fucking suspicious like first part the first scene in the book is this guy coming up to the main character noriko he's like hey um you're the new wife and she's like yes thank you that's me and he's like um I need to tell you something. He says, no, it's you I need to speak with. I want you to listen to me. It's something you have to hear, something you must know. But he never gets to say it because Noriko's mother-in-law comes out into the garden where they're talking and is like, what the fuck is up, guy? Hmm? What do you want? What's going on? And he's like, oh, I just, I just can't pay my rent this month. And she's like, hmm. And what's also strange is like, he's super, super, super terrified like he physically is quaking and shivering and keeps repeating i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry even though noriko's mother-in-law is smiling is speaking in a calm way this man is like wetting himself out of fear it's very strange before noriko got married into this family uh, they approached her because it was like an arranged marriage type of thing. And when she heard the terms that she would have to live in a house with eight of the members of the family, she was like, absolutely not. I'm not fucking with that. I'm not doing it. No. And she meets her husband. She meets Kazuhito and he is stunning. He's gorgeous. He's like her type. She's like, oh my God, I need this man like immediately and so like all of her logical thinking out the out the window gone forever goodbye and he's like oh my god you should meet my family and she's like you know what you're right maybe i should meet your family so she meets them she falls in love with them the grandma tells noriko to put her head on her lap and starts like, tapping and brushing her hair with her fucking gnarly little fingers like and noriko is enamored with it she feels nostalgic for it. They give her all of this sweetness, all of this kindness up front. Basically like love bombing her, it seems. I think, this is just a theory, I think it's gonna end soon. Like it has to, because there's no way it's this perfect. What was also suspicious though was that Kazuhito was like, oh, by the way, I have a brother-in-law. He's a bit disabled. Also, I have like a, a father and he's like very, 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 very sick. Um, and she's like, what the fuck? Why didn't you tell me these things? Like, what the fuck? And he was like, he was like, you wouldn't have married me. And she's like, yeah, I wouldn't have fucking married you. Um, so that's suspicious. Why did, like, why hide them? Even though it's only been 25 pages, I really, really like this. I think it's also going to be a pretty easy book to read. Um, it flows very, very naturally. I don't think you can get, uh, the physical copies anymore. I think they're out of print but you might be able to get them on ebook. I'm gonna have to look that up though. I'm gonna keep reading. Um, I'm gonna read for another 40 minutes probably. And then, like I said, go take a shower. Sound good? Okay. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> 
what the fuck is going on? What? I'm on page 42 and I knew it. <laughs> Dude, this book is gonna be so hard to talk about without spoilers. Something very suspicious happened and thankfully our main character, our girl Noriko, our spooky smart bitch Noriko is a bit suspicious, okay? Something happens and she's like, that's weird. Everyone is kind of acting weird let me go along of course but also maybe have my little reservations my little doubts and then chapter four at the end of chapter four what what no and i i kind of knew it i didn't i didn't know it but i had the thought because while i'm reading it i'm trying to think of what this could possibly mean and i'm and so I was thinking like, maybe it's this, maybe it's this. And what happens at the end of chapter four might be the reason. Also, I looked it up and you actually can still buy this. They're not out of print, at least on the Canadian Amazon. Maybe not the American, I don't know. I didn't check the American. But on the Canadian Amazon, you can get the paperback uh, for just like $16 or something. It's like not expensive. <sighs> oh my God, dude, this is, this is wild. I really want to know what the fuck is going on. I'm I'm thinking I could probably honestly finish this today. Also, I'm sorry, can we talk about how absolutely fucking comfortable and delightful and wonderful it is to like lay down in bed with the blankets, with your little book and just, and like put on like a little playlist and just be the most comfortable fucking bean in the world. That's how I feel. I'm gonna keep reading, um, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna go take a shower. Like I've said a thousand times. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Okay. So before I went, um, to take my shower, I I left off on page sixty. I'm on chapter seven, and I'm very glad so far that um, our main character Noriko is not a dumb bitch. This bitch knows that weird shit is going on she sees it she knows so far she's not right she's not dumb about it like she's not making it ex like exceedingly clear to the family how um how suspicious she is so far all of her all of her like suspicion so far has just been kind of like luck like for instance she woke up um to see that her husband wasn't beside her anymore and so she went to go check it out and voila, look at that. The family is having a meeting without her. So like in the middle of the night. Um, so all of these things uh, are happening because, not because she's doing any like sleuthing, but just because she's kind of just like luckily coming across them. I'm glad that she's not like explaining it away. Do you know what I mean? I'm glad that she's not being like, oh, it's probably happening because of that. Like she's like, no some shady shits going on. I'm gonna keep reading and I think I'm also going to go downstairs and make some iced coffee. Probably bring you along with me when I go. I'm 60 pages in and I love this. I, I wanna finish this today. I'm going to finish this today. I just wanna read it more and more. I'm honestly surprised also that like, I'm reading it so easily. I've always kind of been like afraid that if I go back into reading books physically, my, my little bird brain can't take it. But no, I'm like, I'm flying through this. Maybe I should start reading books physically more often. Let me know actually down below if you read books physically, if you listen to audiobooks, or if you do like digital slash like Kindle. I'd love to know. Definitely an audiobook girl. But I want to read more books physically. I'm going to go make coffee.
almost halfway through. I don't know what to fucking think. <laughs> because on one hand, I think that uh, this family that she's married into are up to shady shit, okay? I don't think they're, I don't think they're doing good things, okay? I'm pretty sure that they're pretty suspicious. Now I'm starting to think that Noriko is maybe a little bit paranoid. <laughs> like make that make sense. How can the family be suspicious and how can Noriko at the same time be overly paranoid? At this point, it seems like she's making um, a mountain out of a molehill. And I don't, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. My hair looks like kind of good, but also not good. <laughs> Today has been another very chill day, similar to yesterday. Um, I've just been laying here. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, Noriko has some pretty good suspicions, you know what I mean? She has like some good theories, but I don't know how true they are. I have my own personal theory as to like why certain people were killed or whatever if certain people killed certain people if we don't know that's kind of the mystery of it i'm gonna read for a while i think because i'm really into this i really fucking like this so far i'm like again i'm angry that it took me so long to read what the fuck jordaline first of all i want to thank the people in the comments who've been like really um supportive of like these vlogs and like who are really enjoying them and i'm so glad that you're enjoying them so thank you so much um also i love the people in the comments who are saying that lacy <laughs> that lacy should take over my channel <laughs> oh my god lacy you can't have it <laughs> it's my channel is that okay can it be my channel oh she's purring besides the usurper uh lacy i'm gonna go back to reading um, thank you to everybody who's been commenting. I'm I'm reading all of them. I'm just awful at responding to them, to be honest. I like I always mean to, and then I literally forget. But thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna keep reading. I'll let you know when this shit hits the fan, because I think it's gonna happen soon. I'm I'm genuinely so confused. Yeah. Bye. This Noriko bitch has the nerve, the nerve, the audacity, by the way, look who I have, again. <laughs> this woman, this woman was like, I'm not gonna say what I think or how I feel. Lacey. Like, I'm not gonna say how I feel about you or like what I think you're doing but I'm gonna make a fucking like shady comment about it. <laughs> That's what she does uh, at the dinner table. Like they're talking about how she should have children and she's like, hmm, not right now. Like at this point having children like disgusts her because like, she's like, I don't want anything to do with this family cause she's paranoid. The grandmother says like, oh, I'll give you some like fertility teas. And she says, is it made from crazy eggplant? And I know that probably makes no sense if you haven't read the book, but the fact that she said that, the fact that she said that, oh my God, the nerve, the audacity, the goal, the fucking gumption. I live, okay, anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. <laughs> I had to share that. Say goodbye, Lacey. Yeah, we're just like best friends. It's like no big deal. Uh <laughs> about 7 40. I don't think I'm gonna finish this today. I'm on page 156 and I literally I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this book. I don't I don't understand. It keeps going back and forth like 
one moment Noriko will be paranoid you know she'll be like these fucking people I don't trust them I don't trust them and then they'll be like what do you mean you don't trust us we're like we're so innocent like let us explain everything to you we were we, we were just worried about you and she's like you know what you're right it's not you it's me I'm just crazy it's like whatever and then the family's like shady 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 and she's like the fuck and they're like what do you mean like it keeps going back and forth i literally have no idea what's going on but it seems as though but my hair looks crazy it does not look good it seems almost like they're indoctrinating her or they're like trying to indoctrinate her i'm paranoid and i'm suspicious of everyone the fucking mom the brothers the sisters the grandma like, the grandma especially the grandma is doing some shady shit i don't know what but she's doing it even Noriko might be, might be shady, but I also kind of think, I also kind of feel, oh my god, <laughs> I also kind of feel like they're brainwashing her in some way. I'm on chapter 20. It seems as though they're using specific, what's the word, strategies to trick Noriko or have her more endeared to them. In chapter 19, they all of a sudden just start like love bombing her. Like just being like, you're so smart. We're so happy that you're here. We're so thankful that you're here. We're so thankful that our son and grandson and brother could find such a beautiful, wonderful woman. You are the best woman that he could have married. We're so happy to have you here. We are truly blessed to have you in our family. You're so intelligent and kind and gentle and ladylike, like blah, blah, over and over and over again. To the point that like when they stop and they change the subject, she feels like upset because she's like, oh my God, <laughs> you guys aren't talking about me anymore. That's how long they were talking about her for. I don't trust it. It just, the, the family seems manipulative, but also at the same time, I don't know if it's the family or it's Noriko. At certain points in the book, I felt bad for the family, being like, Jesus Christ, this Noriko bitch is just like going at them. But then at other points, <laughs> I switch and I'm like, these fucking people are trying to get you, Noriko. Don't, don't let them fucking get you. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want to finish it. Maybe I will finish it today. I don't know. Um, if not, then I'll come back and do like an outro. But, but either way, I really fucking like this, dude. I really like this. I'm, I'm fully, fully invested. I'm going to keep reading. Maybe I'll finish it tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hi, okay, so this is the end of the vlog. <laughs> I did not finish Now You're One of Us. I'm on page 174. I have about 45 pages left. I'm not gonna finish it tonight. I know I'm not. So this is the end. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read this and what you thought of it. If you haven't, let me know if you wanna read it. I 10 out of 10 would recommend. I really fucking like it. I'm excited to finish it and to see what the fuck is going on with this family, with these people because they're bonkers they're wild thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to hit subscribe because we talk about spooky shit we talk about creepy shit we talk about noriko and the crazy fucking family that she married into and shit <laughs> thank you so much i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow bye